I was looking at the railroad track and got a little hillside here and decided that the other side of the tracks just look a little too flat, plain. So today I'm going to show you how to uh, create a hill, add a little bit of terrain to your uh, train layout. Okay, for this project I'm using a half inch foam board. It's an insulated board. Foil on one side, uh, it's got a plastic coating on the other. And you just take this, cut it up, and this is uh, the rough shape of the hillside I'm going to create. Peel the top off of it so I get the foam exposed. You leave the uh, bottom on there. This one here, I did peel some of it off. Once you get the rough shape of, uh, of your hill, take some uh, sandpaper. This is a rough grade. We'll just go throughout the whole thing. We'll rough up, uh, round it down, create a nice mound out of it. This part does get a little bit messy. So, work this all the way around until we get uh, the shape, good little hillside, and uh, go from there. Okay, I got it uh, sanded down pretty good. Uh, did have it uh, crack here, which is a good way to uh, reason to leave the uh, backing on it. This isn't going to matter because once we glue it down, it's going to uh, close up. Sanding, rough sanding, uh, leaves some little gouges and nicks here, but like I said, when we uh, get our ground foam and other scenery on here, most of it's going to be covered up. You're not going to find a perfectly smooth hill. Uh, we're not normally not modeling a golf course. So, you know, rough edges are uh, here and there. So this is ready to uh, go to the track and uh, we'll glue her in place. Okay, now I've got it uh, figured out where I want to place it on the track. I'm going to take uh, some construction adhesive. And what I'm going to do is put a uh, thin line along the bottom side. Don't need a whole lot here. Ah. Whoops. So what I want to do is uh, glue this down to my track. Now normally I would let this uh, dry for a while, but for this video we're going to go ahead and uh, skip the drying. This, uh, construction adhesive uh, works pretty good. I'll take a little bit of uh, brown paint and we'll uh, put a big glob there. And what this will do, this will uh, cover up some of the uh, yellow or white depending on uh, what kind of foam board you used. And this will also act like a glue, and we will uh, sprinkle on our uh, ground foam to cover that in. I don't worry about the edges uh, being totally flush and flat to the track, because we're going to uh, blend this stuff in. Get a section done here. I've got some ground foam. It's different colors. A mixture of uh, grass green, a couple other shades. And what I like to do is grab a uh, fingerful or a pinch, and we'll sprinkle this in real good. I like to roll it in. It uh, gives it some uh, clump to it. It's not going to be a perfectly flat, but it'll simulate to uh, give you an idea of some uh, rough bushes. The scale I work with is N scale. And we'll uh, blend that in, work on around, give you a nice little uh, hillside. Okay, I've gone ahead and uh, finished covering it up. 
applied paint. I like to put the ground foam on by squeezing it. That forms up clumps. Uh, you can use the uh, tea strainer to come up with a fine powder. I, I like the clumps out here because I'm, I'm imagining an area that's away from a town. It's not taken care of. Once uh, the paint dries, then I'll follow up with uh, a little bit of uh, water, glue mix, and uh, cement it in, make sure that uh, it's going to stay put. And there's a little uh, hillside mound for you.